here we have a Samsung Q1 Ultra Ultra Mobile PC, a UM PC. It's got Windows XP on, or at least it soon will have, because the first thing I need to do is do a factory restore. And yes, it is touch screen. Unfortunately, I don't have the um, stylus for this one. Um, I believe it goes in, where's the stylus go? Yeah, there it goes in the bottom actually, just there. It's got a little stand on the back, look, so I can go. Though you can't quite see it, but if I do it that way, you can see bugger all. So, let's put that there, plug in the power, and believe it or not, the battery does work, but it's going to take at least 45 minutes to uh, install Windows XP or XP Tablet Edition. But at least I hope it's going to take 45 minutes, because if it doesn't, it means it hasn't worked. So, I've got my external USB DVD player here, look. Stick it in there, close that up, press the power button on the left, and I think I press escape on here. Just go through the BIOS. And there we go, I can press OK or enter there to boot from the CD ROM. Let's press any key, that's the end key. There we go, the typical Windows XP setup. Ooh, it's asking me to choose a disk partition. So there must be some sort of answer file on this one then. Um, so I'm going to press D to delete the partition, enter L, and then I'm going to go and create it from scratch. Oh, it's copying files now. Yeah, it's definitely reading an answer file. Hopefully, this is pre-registered, because obviously the Windows XP registration servers were turned off a long, long time ago. I know the volume license key, or the VLK version, or corporate edition, whichever you want to call it, works fine, because it doesn't need to activate. The regular versions do need to activate. Hopefully, this version won't need to be activated, because hopefully, it's been pre-activated by the OEM. Here we go, the actual installation is beginning. Now I've got to wait at least 40 minutes for it to finish. Welcome to Windows XP Setup Wizard. Let's see if the mouse will move. Oh, it does. Left mouse button. Yep, let's accept the license agreement. There we go. Windows XP is great for notebook computers. Oh, nearly missed that one. Language United States? Oh, I don't think so. United Kingdom UK 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 there we go next name yeah that will do oh organization Samsung Electronics yeah so like I was thinking it is definitely an answer file so it looks like it's the right one no password just for now GMT minus eight hours I think so GMT spot on. Okay, so we've got the right date and time set. Right, another 32 minutes. Well, at least the notes the tablet edition look because the. Oh, you missed it! The keyboard's come out and you can see me! There you go, look, the keyboard's come out. Oh, it's installing something like that. Installation may take several minutes, please wait. This could all be all the drivers now, I guess. Well, Windows Media Player 10 is just installing. It doesn't appear to be doing much. 
Whoa, look, it's got a blank screen. It's not doing anything. Or is it? Because look, you can see. Oh. <laughs> I said the hard drive lights flickering. What happens? The infamous Windows XP desktop appears there. Okay. Typical end user being impatient. What on earth does that say? That's not English United Kingdom, is it? What on earth is going on there? That's not English. Not even American English. Well, the touch screen's working, but it's in Russian. No, I definitely chose United Kingdom English rather than American English during the centre, didn't I? So what on earth is going on? Finally managed to get it in United Kingdom English. It only had Service Pack 2 on it. So before I install any of the drivers, which is a bit odd, but it's supposed to be a Samsung um, recovery CD, so it's a gold DVD, it's supposed to have all the drivers as part of that image, but it appears to be um, just the OEM version of the um, XP 2005 tablet edition uh, with an answer file that for some reason, even though I chose English United Kingdom as you saw in the video uh, earlier, it decided to install it in Russian, so a uh, bit bizarre. I suspect someone's just taken an OEM version of um, the XP 2005 tablet edition, put an answer file on and pretended it's a uh, restore disk because it's clearly not. Thank you for watching. Please click on the like button if you've enjoyed the video or found it useful. And don't forget, if you don't want to miss any of my videos, click on subscribe. See you next time.